Yeah, my mom's single. Yeah, for real. Mom, do know how to have a good time. Yeah. She ain't sitting in the house playing, yeah. outside moving and shaking, baby. Yeah, she come with me to strip club. I don't care. <laughs> real. It's my dog. You know, I want to live life. We out here moving and grooving. So my mom told me, she just said, keep moving, baby. That's right. Keep moving. She don't can, stop. She can touch, she can touch um, the floor with her palms. You know? Flat. Flat. Oh! <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit up the like. Make sure you subscribe if you like unfiltered commentary. Because over here, I say what they don't say. I don't play no games. You hear me? <laughs> but let's jump right in. So Diddy's mother, Janice Combs, has been hospitalized in Miami after experiencing chest pains. She was rushed to the hospital Wednesday after complaining of discomfort in her chest. It's unclear what caused Janice's pain, but she's expected to remain under medical observation for at least another day while she undergoes testing. Diddy has been at the hospital by her side while she recovers. An insider says he's her comfort. He's her comfort, you guys. Sources believe stress from her son's federal investigation and mounting civil lawsuits caused a health scare. Janice is 83 years old, and she lives in Miami, but in a separate residence from Diddy's waterfront estate. It's unfortunate that she's having chest pains, if that's even true, because we don't know. He could be looking for sympathy, who knows? But she raised that monster, and she knew. It's like we all knew, everyone around him knew. She knew. He even had things under her name, okay? He put things under her name. So she didn't care as long as he was able to provide for her lifestyle, her ugly plastic looking wigs. I mean, come on, let's be honest. For someone with a son that's rich or a billionaire and you looking tacky like that, walking around tacky with ugly plastic wigs, those stupid contacts, till this day she has these contacts in her eyes. Let me stop. Let me leave her alone. But no, seriously, she raised that monster and he doesn't have any respect for her. He talked to her any sorts of way. His ex-bodyguard, Gene Deal, he said he had to check Diddy one time because Diddy was so disrespectful to his mother. He was screaming at her. And uh, somewhere else, someone else said um, he, was, uh, he called her the B word and he smacked her in the face. Yeah, he slapped his mother. Are we surprised? Heck no. Because look how he treats other women. So yeah, of course he's going to treat his mom like that because he hates women. He hates his mother. He hates women. So his mom included. But she didn't try to get him any help. She was just enjoying the lifestyle in her little tacky ways. She was enjoying the lifestyle. And yeah, but she knew about everything, if not more than anybody. She knew. I mean, the guy put things in her name to hide things, okay? So she knew. She knew, and now she's like, oh, my God, hard chest pain, chest pain. No, I don't, I'm not buying it because you should have been had chest pains when he was doing all these things to other women, other men, yeah, young. Mm -hmm. So I'm not buying it, Janice. You need to cut the crap. Okay, your son is going to jail. And we need you alive and well, Janice, so you could see justice. Because I know he abused you too. Because he would smack you around. God knows what else he, he did to you. Because I'm sure, I'm sure he really messed you up. But you let it happen. You turned the other cheek. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she was scared of him. But still, no excuses. You know, I wouldn't put, listen, did you see the video of Diddy and Janice, his mother, kissing? It was so disturbing. So I wouldn't put it past them. She probably had a, a freak off going on too for the old men or for the young men who, who like older cougars or whatever. I'm telling you, don't put anything past the industry. Don't put anything past these people, past evil, past Diddy, okay? Nothing is off limits. 
did he have his own son involved in the whole Trump thing? And they were doing the things that he were doing to women, all wording and everything. So, so don't be shocked if it comes out that Janice was involved in the whole, you know, and she does tapes of Janice getting down. You know, I'm telling you, don't put anything past them. These people are a bunch of freaking weirdos, freaks. They're just nasty, okay? Disgusting, vile degenerates, okay? Let's just keep moving. Let's let's move on. So Diddy is trying to sell his L.A. mansion off-market for way more than he paid. So he paid $40 million for the house back in 2014. But now he's asking for $70 million. $70 million? You know the house that Homeland Security raided back in uh, March? Yeah. So he wants 70 million for it. He's not gonna get that. Because not only that, I mean, with everything that's going on, who wants to live in a house that Diddy lived in? Seriously, who wants to live in a house that Diddy lived in? All the bad memories, not even that. Just he is not someone you'll be like, oh yeah, I gotta, whatever, let's just move on. So there's a new lawsuit, a new victim. I don't even know what number she is. Is she victim number 12? I've lost count. But so she filed a lawsuit. So did he hire a former porn star to have SEX with people at some of his legendary parties and threatened to blackball her and her model boyfriend if she did not comply? Her name is Adria English. She said she first met Diddy around 2004 when her boyfriend was auditioning for a Sean John modeling gig. And the ducks. She claims things got freaky with Diddy right out of the gate. Adria claims her boyfriend and another model were asked to perform oral SEX on Diddy in order to get the job. Did you hear that? So two guys were auditioning to, you know, for a job. Sean John's, you know, Diddy's clothing line at the time. And Diddy wanted oral sex to be performed on him and she says her boyfriend refused but he got a second chance when another diddy associate offered him the job as long as he got adria to work as a go-go dancer at diddy's upcoming white party in the hamptons she and the boyfriend agreed and she indeed worked the party over labor day weekend 2004 the lawsuit includes pics of her there. She, she says she subsequently worked other Diddy's parties. Sorry. She subsequently worked other Diddy's parties where she regularly had to drink alcohol laced with narcotics. Like, instantly, it was encouraged to flirt with guests. Although she did not have SEX with guests initially, she claims Diddy groomed her into SEX trafficking. Over time, Adria claims things ratcheted up when Diddy demanded she have SEX with Jacob uh, Robov, famously known as Jacob the Jeweler in hip-hop. According to the suit, Adria says she was forced to have intercourse with Jacob the Jeweler and then was paid an additional $1,000 on top of what she usually got for working Diddy's parties. She took a photo with Jacob after the alleged assault. While still at the party, she claims Diddy himself personally congratulated her for having SEX with Jacob as directed and told her job and told her job well done. Jacob is listed as a defendant in the lawsuit. Adria claims things got worse after that because she was being passed off to other people at Diddy's parties, and they, too, sexually assaulted her. She's also suing a woman named Tamiko Thomas, who she accuses of facilitating Diddy's SEX drinking operation. In fact, Adria says Tamiko is a Ghislaine Maxwell to Diddy's Jeffrey Epp. Mm. She also claims Diddy promised to advance her career, even helping her join a girl group to enter the music business, but backed it up with forceful demands and threats to blackball her and her boyfriend from the industry if they didn't comply. 
She says she eventually did escape and return to California in 2009 and believes Diddy blackballed her and her boyfriend as punishment. Adria claims she has suffered emotional trauma, including intimacy issues and painful memories as a result of the alleged S-E-X. She's suing Diddy, Bad Boy, Tamika Thomas, Jacob the Jeweler, and others and seeking unspecified damages. Oh, wow. So this whole month, we've seen Diddy outside trying to pretend that he's not bothered, trying to pretend that he's having fun and enjoying life. We've seen him, you know, water rafting. What do you call it? Water rafting? Yeah, water rafting. And, you know, we've seen him boarding a private jet, right? So, so yeah, so Cassie is not happy about that. So Cassie's lawyer, Douglas Wigdor, put out a threatening message. He says, I don't think white water rafting will prepare him for the choppy waters that lie ahead. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And also, the last victim, the latest victim with the latest lawsuit, Adria English, her attorney, Ariel Mitchell Kidd, also weighed in, saying after seeing defendants Combs white water rafting and jet jetting around on his personal plane, seemingly enjoying life despite all the atrocities he has caused and has been accused of by countless individuals over decades. Mrs. English is even more motivated to ensure justice prevails. Attorney Mitchell Kidd is referring to the photos of Diddy white water rafting late last month and then later posting video of him boarding a private jet. He's clearly trying to project a what me worry attitude, but it's not sitting well with his alleged victims. Metro Kid apparently believes Diddy is trying to show desperation, but is falling on deaf ears. We are not moved by Defendant Combs' recent attempt at selling his California home or attempt to portray himself as a man of scarcity by needing to liquidate assets when, for decades, Defendant Combs has tooted himself as an ultra-successful billionaire of multiple businesses. She also says an indictment against Diddy is coming sooner than later and perhaps even very shortly. You heard that, you guys? So we're ready. We've been ready for Diddy to be arrested. Okay, this day is coming. So I was hoping for July 15th. So the point is, whether he gets arrested now, next week, next month, or September, the point is, as long as he gets arrested, that's all that matters. And we've been waiting for that day. So, yeah, so, yeah, that's all I have to say, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.